Never mind. Okay, so we're just getting started on the left shoulder, looking in from the back to the front. Everything that you see is magnified 30 or 40 times on the screen. We have kind of a blue-ish cannula coming in the front of the shoulder. And um, we'll just turn on the suction and the shaver attached to this cannula because it will remove some of the torn labrum here and allow us to see what's going on with this biceps tendon, which is kind of first on our list to assess here. As we look up here, the long head of the biceps tendon is right here. And it actually looks pretty good there as it exits the shoulder. The rotator cuff tear is just behind it to the right. We'll look at that in a minute. But as we look at the biceps and the biceps anchor, that's not bad. At least not yet. I don't see anything too worrisome there. The rotator cuff tear, however, is this area right here, which is what we expected to see. So this is all rotator cuff footprint that's exposed. It's not supposed to be exposed. And that's where we're going to be working. So we'll have a suture anchor ready to go, shuttle relay, all the things we need to repair the cuff here. And now we're going to, before we do that, we're going to look around the rest of the shoulder. This is the posterior aspect of the joint, this posterior capsule. That looks good. Okay. And um, we'll look down the front of the shoulder, and here's the anterior structures. And we'll put in the shaver here just to make sure. Yeah, and these things all look pretty good. So I don't really see much else to worry about here. Okay, so we're looking at this big tear here. The front of your shoulders to the left, the back of your shoulders to the right. This is your biceps tendon, which was okay inside the joint down here. But you can see that this rotator cuff tear exposes it. We'd like to have this covered up. It should be kind of like that. Okay, and so that's what we're going to work on is getting this all covered up like that. And then this poster leaf, a little hard to do it from where I'm at, but this poster leaf needs to go forward. So first step is to take a spinal needle and it, get a good angle to place our first suture anchor in. Okay, so I'm going to move over here a little bit. That looks like that'll be a pretty good angle to place an anchor in. Maybe if I move a little bit back. Yeah, so we can see here how far back this tear goes. We can also see that it's delaminated. I want to get this deep layer, so I want to get that incorporated into the repair. So we're going to place our first anchor right about here. We'll get to work on doing that. Uh, the, the gold crochet hook, black handle. Okay, so here's our suture anchor down in the bone. It's got three sutures attached to it. It's very solid in the bone. You see I can move the whole humeral head. Yeah, perfect. Uh, no, that's the probe. Yeah, okay, so now we're going to take an instrument called the crochet hook coming from the right side of the screen, left side of the screen, which is the front of your shoulder. Okay, and we're going to decide what suture we want to work with first. Looks like these black and white sutures are the most posterior, so we'll take this one first. And now we're going to take an instrument called the suture hook, take a grasper in the front, and a suture hook in the back. So the, yeah, you're exactly right. So here's the grasper coming in the front right there. I'm going to hold that. You're going to hold the scope there, Lan. Suture hook is coming in on the right side of the screen. So what we're going to do is have you hold the scope real still, just like that. So this hook is loaded with a black wire called the super shuttle. You can see it there. That's how we move these sutures around. And with this instrument, I want to make sure I get this deep layer. So I'm going to reach in here underneath almost and lift that up just to make sure. That's where we're going to come out. And that's our first bite right there. So we'll go ahead and feed the relay. We'll retrieve it. And then outside your shoulder, we're going to load. There's a little hole in that black wire. We're going to load it 
go ahead and load it with a suture, put about one inch of it through the hole there. And if you watch carefully, you'll see how we pull it back just an inch. Uh -huh. And then, so you have to hold it right at the eyelet. Keep holding right at the eye, right, right where I'm holding. Yep, so it doesn't pull out. And just follow it all the way down. Okay, so as we pull back, you can see how it brings that black and white suture with it. Carefully, I'll turn to the left next. So we'll pull all the way tight. And now you can see how that suture is going underneath the tendon. So I'm going to go ahead and reach in and get the partner suture. We're going to go ahead and tie this knot. So we'll take a knot pusher and a mosquito in just a minute and show you how we tie these knots. But before we do that, I've got to get this partner suture here. There it is there. Okay, and now that's our first loop. So we're going to go ahead and tie that. We'll show you some more in just a minute. Okay, so we've tied that first knot. There's the cut end of it right there. And you can see how that's given us a really good, if I don't come out, you can see. So there you can see now it's given us a really good posterior anchor point. I'm happy with that. And now we're going to go ahead and keep working with the, the remaining two sutures here. I think I'll take that solid blue one next. Just like that. And now we're going to use a slightly different angled suture hook, what we call a turn to the turn to the left. Excellent. Okay, so here's our second stage. Again, you can see how we're getting all the way underneath. And now we're going to feed that through. Okay, and just like before, we're going to go ahead and load that, pull tight on the relay and load it. Okay, so we'll pull back, and as we pull, you'll see that, bring that suture. There it is. Okay, I'll show you some more in a minute. Okay, so we've got a couple things going on here I wanted to show you before we proceed. We've got that first anchor in, and all three of those sutures are tied back here. There's one there, two, three. We put in a side-to-side -side stitch, also something we call a ripstop stitch. A little bit harder to see, but it's holding down kind of a split in the tendon that was back in this region. There it is right there going sideways. See that blue and white? And so now we've got most of this tear fixed, but we've still got to get this down like that. So we're going to place another suture anchor in. Uh... Probably somewhere right about here is a good spot. We're going to cover up. Remember how we could see the biceps tendon at the beginning of the case? We're going to, when we're done, that's going to be all covered up like that. So we're going to place this one down right about here. I'll probably have one of my buddies externally rotate the shoulder just a little bit. We'll go ahead and get the guide next. Okay, there's our second anchor in. Now we're going to get to work on these sutures. Sorry. Just like we did before here. We'll go ahead and reach in from the left side of the screen. and start working with these one at a time. Okay, so here's where we're at, which is we're done. We've got three sutures passed in the back. You can kind of see them on the screen right there. As I rotate your shoulder, that tendon and muscle moving, move together as a unit. That looks good. As we rotate the camera and look a little bit more to the front, we can see another triple loaded anchor. All those sutures are tied. There's one going sideways, if you can see it right in the middle of the screen. That's our rip stop stitch, and that got rid of a little dog ear or a kind of L-shaped split in the tendon that you had. So that all looks good. I'm rotating back around here. You can't, remember at the beginning of the case, you could see the biceps tendon, it's completely covered up. And as I abduct your shoulder and continue to rotate, I'm happy that that looks pretty good. And there's our decompression. So we're gonna finish up and get you back to the recovery room. Good luck to you now, bye-bye.